I have the first same question for everybody. And I'll first throw it to Jonathan and Christina. And that is, is there a highlight for you in being part of Rock the Block? Do you feel like meeting people? Yeah. I think meeting all the team, like we like came together as a group that we genuinely liked everybody so much. And in the first couple of like meetings, we're like, well, we like these people. We can't talk shit about these people very well. Like, I mean, the design was hard. The like construction was hard. Everything was hard, but like creating camaraderie was amazing. Right. Yeah. No, it was, it was nice to like, you know, pass people on the block and just say hi and stuff like that. It, it, it was, it was a great experience, you know, and I, I, I was just very honored to be asked to be a contestant on the show. I mean, it's, it's one of HGTV's biggest shows and, um, you know, I, I'm just honored that we were able to be a part of it. There was, you know, there's so many other people they could have asked and they asked this group collectively and uh, it's just, yeah, it was such an honor. That's great to hear. Michelle, Anthony, it's up to you as to who answers first, but same question to you. Personal highlight in being part of Rock the Block? Go ahead, Anthony, you can go first. Um, from competing in Project Runway and All Stars in the past, I know what it's like to be in a competition and have to just always rely on yourself. What was refreshing about this experience is that I had a partner and I never knew what it was like to be supported in that capacity. So that to me just made the whole experience like even the more I guess amazing because I had an actual partner to like help me in those moments where I felt like vulnerable. So, so far, before I let Michelle talk, so far it seems like everyone gets along, everyone digs the show. That is not normal in these junkets. <laughs> Usually you have one or two troublemakers who are trying to stir the pot. So, Michelle, are you keeping up that, yeah, we like everyone here and we love this? Keeping it up. Sorry to disappoint you, but I am. I got to tell you, um, I also felt like we had already won for being invited. Like, John, I was like, damn, what? We're going to rock the block? And I get to go with my favorite person? Let, let, let's do it. Um, I think the highlight for me, though, was really expanding um, yeah. our design point of view, like designing from the point of view of the Colorado resident and learning how much they love merging the indoors with the outdoors and so forth and so on, the natural resources in that area, the amazing landscape and views, all those things really enrich me as a designer personally. Um, but I will tell you um, quietly, there's a prankster. His name is Brian Baumler. He <laughs> <laughs> you. Always Maybe? comes back to you. You're <laughs> Okay. Well, I'll then throw that at Brian, and if Sarah gives Sarah the chance to rebut what Brian is saying, so you know, please tell me somebody, if there are highlights. Somebody has to keep everybody smiling around here. <laughs> <laughs> I think. Uh, I think for us, you know, we we've. Yeah, I've been filming and, and doing shows and working and building for, well, filming for 20, almost 20 years now. And we've, I've never been, and we've never been the competitor. You know, we've always been the judge. We've been the host, we've been whatever. So when we first got this call, <clears throat> we kind of went around, we're like, I don't know, should we, should we be the competitor? You know, do we get into this, into this ring? Uh, and it was something that kind of excited us to get in and, and yeah, and sorry to, you know, as much fun as we had and, and what have you, it, it, the, the best part of this was, was going through this emotional journey and physical, mm -hmm. you know, thing for six weeks somewhere where none of us were comfortable, you know, we're all doing something new and just, you know, meeting, you know, the, the best people in the world. It was an incredible group and it was a great, it was a great experience. Mm -hmm. I would do it again. Like if it was exactly the same, I'm not sure. I, like, I'm not going to do it again. So I said, <laughs> you know, I'll go back and do it, but I don't think I do it again. <laughs> but before I throw that to Paige and Mitch, Sarah, do you agree with Brian or did he say something incorrect or possibly minorly incorrect in that? <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I, for once in my life, I am actually in agreement with my husband. <laughs> no, I, I think as a whole, actually, I think it was Michelle that said this on an earlier interview too, that it's an opportunity that I, I didn't look at the opportunity in a way that I just thought it's competition. You have to put your best foot forward, but it's also an incredible opportunity to like learn from other people in this craft. And I think that's what we all love. Like, I don't think any one of us came into this being like, I am the best of the best. I think we all came out of it going like, 
that was really cool. I learned something new. I saw somebody do something different. And with these new found relationships of people that we can call and rely on. And I think that was something I didn't expect. I think I just went in it like this is a competition. I didn't think I'd have friends and people that I can trust in the industry mm -hmm. out of this. It was one of those like positive benefits that just was incredible. Glad to hear all that. Now, Paige and Mitch, we'll do the thing where I ask the next question to you in addition, because you've been so patient in waiting and all this, but can both of you share a personal highlight in being part of the Rock the Block family? Well, for me, the highlight was that I did it because for two years I was asked to do it and I said, no, absolutely not. Just because I was a, a previous judge for two seasons and all I heard was run, don't do it. And so when I said, you know what? I have Mitch with me. He's such a rock star. So my first highlight is I did it. The second one is that I had Mitch. And, you know, I always tell people, it's not how you start something, it's how you end something. And we ended the same way we started, you know, as great friends, we can count on each other. And then the plus of the highlight and all this are all of these other amazing humans that you see on this screen. Like I could call any of them right now, whether in tears or frustration or just with a great, you know, like, oh my gosh, what happened? And we cheerlead each other and it's authentic. And that was probably the most beautiful thing that came out of this experience that everybody else told me not to do. And had I listened to them, I would have never been able to have this experience with all of these people. Yeah, 100%. I'd like to reiterate like what Paige said, you know, she brings me on as a wingman and, you know, I'm thankful for that. But I also feel like every individual on this screen right now, I, you know, I classify them as friends. So I'm a friend? It's a unique experience. Yeah, can't <laughs> you might as well. Yeah, you have a tool he wants to borrow, then <laughs> yeah. you're a friend. That right? was, uh, <laughs> some work to do in his house. Tools, but we gave them back to you, Brian yeah. and Sarah. Yeah. 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 The, the, the relationships back. during this whole process yeah. were, that's feel like it's a lifetime bond. Right. Well, the follow up on that I have for you, Paige and Mitch, is how do you prepare for a show like this? For example, let's say you were gone on American Gladiators. You'd know, I got to be in good shape. I, I have to work up my stamina. But how do you prepare for a show like this? No, we did. Like we both picked up all of, I mean, all of our workouts. I mean, I had to yeah. get physically strong, mentally strong. I had a crazy prayer life. And then we went into this with like a fighting mentality. Like we're going to go in this and win. And then we meet everybody. We're like, well, you guys can win too. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, what we thought we were going to, you know, just from the previous judging experience that I had, I'm like, oh, I'm going to come in here and have to fight everybody. But I was like, no, I'm not fighting them. Come on, bitch. Let's just, we started just like fighting the materials we didn't have. That's what became, you know, you know, our greatest enemy yeah, was what we didn't have. Really. Yeah. yeah. I came in working out three days a week and probably worked out three days the whole entire time I was there. Yeah. So <laughs> I felt pretty good at the beginning. By the end of it, I felt like I was a little slow. <laughs> you My never bit different at the end for sure. We wouldn't know as the viewer about any of the workout related strife or anything like that. And <laughs> hey, throwing it back to, to Jonathan and Christina, because they've been waiting for a while to, to weigh in. I'm gonna compliment your background. You Now all of you have great backgrounds, but Jonathan and Christina have such a cool looking background. Now Jonathan and Christina, is that a real background? Cause that looks too good to be a real background. <laughs> it's, it's a little so, bit on brand, huh? <laughs> it's my uh, still in the house in Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, my uh, 1730s colonial fireplace, original to the house. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Absolutely. And working, working the rounds here, Brian and Sarah, what's next for you besides Rock the Block? Like, what are we doing next? We're, we yes. may be headed to a different beach in a few weeks to battle it out on another beach. So, well, to judge the battle <laughs> on the beach. Yeah. Uh, I have a new show I'm starting uh, filming in April across Canada, mm -hmm. doing some traveling, and and we're looking at some uh, potential developments in Utah and Barbados, and and one across the pond, <laughs> and and Italy maybe. Uh, yeah, I don't I don't know. She travels, she buys stuff. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I want to eat cheese all day and drink wine. That's the truth. I think I call. think White Lotus has spoken to a yeah. lot of people. Including <laughs> yeah. White Lotus. The, the last word to Michelle and to Anthony here. What's next for you two? Where can we see you next? Uh, <laughs> you can see it at Lux for Less for sure. Um, 
Yeah, so stay tuned uh, for the date when it's going to air. I don't know if we can share that quite yet, but we're excited about uh, it returning to the airways for sure. Well, to sum up what I've learned, I just spoke to a lot of interesting people who like each other, and this is not the last time we're going to see any of them anytime soon, whether it's on television or social media. So thank you all for your time and really looking forward to whatever's next from all of you great rock the block folks. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Outrocast.